I first heard about the fact that they were remaking Poltergeist, how filmmakers would view the famous curse. Right. What did you think about that at all? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, it was the main reason I showed up uh, for the first meeting. I wanted to have a shot at getting a curse uh, put on <laughs> put on me, and um, and so I'm still fingers crossed uh, in line for something um, horrific to to happen to to me and those close to me in the near future. Yeah, well, be sure and take the stairs on your way down. <laughs> uh, now you have a really cool crazed squirrel in this film. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's even scarier than the ones in Zodiac. So oh, thank you. Really I appreciate now, that. How was that sort of written in the script? Did Was that already there, or was that something that you, that you kind of added after? It was, it was written as something very different originally. Uh, I, there, was, there was a very weird squirrel element in the script David Lindsay Abair wrote. David must have a vendetta against, against squirrels. Um, and so he wrote like the strangest, least filmable concept. It was almost like a cheerleading pyramid of uh, of squirrels <laughs> at, at one point. And I became comic book. Yeah, but I but I okay, exactly. But I really wanted to uh, work with a real a real squirrel. I didn't want a CG animal. And so um, I, I I sort of shaped the shaped the moment into something that I could capture on camera. However, CG squirrels don't carry the bubonic plague, so. Oh my God, you know, we actually had to change film rules in Canada where we were filming to allow a squirrel in from the States. Yeah. All the best acting squirrels in the world are from the United States. <laughs> now, speaking of actors, you had four really good actors in the, uh, as the paranormal. Uh, oh, right, stars. yeah. But it took the people to replace the wonderful Zelda <laughs> Rubenstein. <laughs> yeah. She... I, it was that kind of a conscious decision to where, like, we don't want to be anything like you know I think that I think that she was a uh, um, she was an incredible force of force of life Zelda was mm -hmm. and uh, what she brought to the film was more than just a character it was so much of her own spirit and energy on screen I think that it was impossible to try to just recast that character with uh, with a, a new actor and so we had to dream up a completely new character and I think one that that made more sense in the world of supernatural um, parapsychology that we live in today right of the internet uh, <laughs> phenomenon Ex there, right? exactly it's, it's a terrific actor too. yeah well everyone's great but the house is sort of a character in and of itself and since you did monster house you know all the ins and outs and nooks and crannies of scary dwellings so can you talk a little bit about how you chose you know this structure and how sure. did you kind of do the the floor plan yourself yeah i mean i work very closely with the production designer to find a a place that felt both instantly uh, identifiable as a subdivision house, but also that the camera could get to know intimately enough so that when we see it for its true horrific uh, otherworldly form, uh, would be able to shift and become a sort of living hell on earth.